Welcome everyone to a new video. What is this video about? Why am I being so cryptic? Well, I've often been asked by comments, viewers, and other people, how do you top your, you know, every pack opening, your 100K special, all those awesome videos that we've done in the past? Well, I got to thinking about that and, uh, there's really only one answer. You don't just do one video, you do tons of videos. And guess what? I'm the you we're talking about. We've already announced a 200K special video and it, it sounded epic, right? It sounded really cool, but that's not it. That's not all we're doing. I will be doing many, many videos to celebrate the 200K special, which we're not there yet, but I'm gonna be doing it a little bit ahead of time, you know, leading up to the 200K video. And we're gonna have many other videos along the way that are gonna be awesome. And our friend Sassy Auto has sponsored the entire 200K celebration. Celebration. I'll get into that a little bit more as we keep going. So what I am announcing today is we are beginning Legacy Week. Welcome to Legacy Week, a week where we will be revisiting six of Yu-Gi-Oh's oldest and most iconic sets. Each day, I will open a 24-pack booster box made up of 25th anniversary packs, starting with Invasion of Chaos and continuing in reverse chronological order. Each day, we will total the number of foils pulled and the total value. Which set has what it takes to earn the title of Legacy Week champion? Champion? Let's find out together. If you guys are longtime fans of the channel, in 2020, we did Legacy Week before. We opened up five different sets from the 2017 reprints, and we're doing the same thing now, except we're adding in a six, which is Dark Crisis, and we're gonna be opening up the six 25th anniversary reprint sets in back to back to back to back to back to back days. So we will be starting with Invasion of Chaos and attempting to pull the best cards, which is, you know, Chaos Emperor Dragon, Blacklist or Soul Drawn with the beginning, and then the Dark Magician of Chaos. Tomorrow, we'll be opening up Dark Dark Crisis, an entire box included inside. Very nice stuff. Then the next day, Pharaoh Servant. These are, by the way, these are not first edition. I just want to remind you guys, but that would be pretty cool if we had those. That would be a pretty big celebration. The next day, Magic Ruler, aka Spell Ruler now. Metal Raiders, my favorite set will be the day after, and the finale will be the Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon opening. Check that out. It will be absolutely insane so this is going to be a really fun week and you're going to be able to win every single card that we pull in these sets just like the video be subscribed turn on notifications and let me know in the comments which do you think will be the best opening we're going to be keeping a tally of all the pulls and the best will be the winner we're going to have it at the end of every video we're going to have the tallies of the opened boxes so far i want to see what you guys think will win and back to that sassy auto sponsor sassy auto has just dropped his pre-orders of the 25th anniversary booster boxes which we're kind of previewing in legacy week here i will have a code down below it hasn't yet been generated at the time of recording this but it'll be in the description you use that that code for 5% off and you guys will be able to pre-order your booster boxes coming out in July. Sassy Auto has been a longtime friend of the channel and he will be doing something pretty epic for 200k upcoming but I'm not going to announce that yet. I'm going to save that for when I actually you know have the items on hand. Item or items I will not say what it is. There will be that coming up and of course the 200k that I mentioned and we're going to be doing a live stream all the way to 200k subscribers whenever that day actually comes because you know it just depends on how far away we are in subscribers and stuff but we'll be doing a live stream with that we're probably going to be opening some cool stuff like battles of chaos potentially uh, lightning overdrive getting that black rose potentially stuff like that so keep an eye out for that and that is some of the stuff we'll be doing for 200k who knows there might be even more but i hope you guys are excited for all these different things let's get into legacy week episode one invasion of chaos 24 packs we're starting off legacy week i'm super excited this is going to be really fun to do all these old school openings in a row we've done this once before and i think you guys loved it i really enjoyed doing it energy drain and you know i was like ah oh, we should just do that again it'd be so awesome for 200k molten zombie perfect timing with the 25th anniversary let's see if we can pull a secret rare no grimaju day eyes i know that card very well from master duel all right let's go to our second pack invasion of chaos let me know what you're most excited for with the 200k is it the mystery video is it the 200 of every you know pack ever made is it the six straight legacy videos is it the live stream that's gonna be pretty awesome so shout out sassy auto for sponsoring us you guys go check out that link if you guys want to pre-order some legacy boost your boxes i'm super excited for that i mean we're gonna be doing some pretty awesome live streams when those come out so i am ex probably as excited as you guys but i don't know maybe you guys are more excited who knows let's see one two three come on we have ojama delta hurricane i remember last time we did legacy week i had insane pulls so i hope that that continues giga gaga gigo first time pulling that boganian hyper hammerhead we have thunder crush dralago wait and Amphibious Bug Ross. So we are starting off over, but that's okay. All it takes is some big ones. Demock, Blackluster Soldier. We've never had good luck pulling Blackluster Soldier. It's been really tough. I think we've pulled like two ever or something. Did we ever pull it? Maybe we pulled one out of our 100, 100 boxes. So maybe 
three total pulled out of all my years of opening. We have zero gravity. A hero emerges. Destruction ring. And we have Desk Kangaroo. He has a little appearance in GX, doesn't he? The guy who uses the koala, I think, is in GX. All right, next pack up, Invasion of Chaos. You guys know it's all Invasion of Chaos today. We're revisiting the old school boxes. We have Tower of Babel. Thing in the Crater. Recycle. Curse Seal the Forbidden Spell. Ojama Black. Spirit of the Pot of Greed. Molten Zombie. Sasuke Samurai. Number, what is this? Number three. And an anti-aircraft flower. I always thought this was a funny card. Like anti-aircraft flower. I don't know. It's just cool. What's it shooting down? Bees or something? I don't know. <laughs> Invasion of Chaos. So far, no foils. One, two, three. Can we pull something crazy? This is basically what we're going to be getting from booster boxes. We're going to get 24 of these packs. It's going to be kind of cool. Sacred Crane, we have Cannonball. We have DD Borderline. Balloon Lazard. Inferno. We have Prickle Fairy, the Fairy of Prickles. Mad Dog of Darkness. I just think that guy on ESPN. And uh, Trap Jammer, our first super rare, our first foil of the opening and first foil of Legacy Week. I'm going to have a total foil counter as well as, you know, values as well. All right, next up. So that puts them in the lead for Legacy Week. I'm just saying, no other set has pulled a foil yet. One, two, three. Oh, that's a four. We got to be careful there. That could have been a foil. Anti-Aircraft Flower, another nice one. Primal Seed, Cannonball, Spear, Shellfish, Jade, Insect Whistle, Ryukoki, Thunder Crash, Burning Algae, The Curse of Darkness, and Tower of Babel. All right, gotta be careful. Might be language changing coming up. You gotta be careful. Let's go, guys. One, two, three. Will we pull something? So far, one super rare. Not a great start. Desk Kangaroo. We have DNA Transplant. What are they doing to that poor little yellow guy? Torpedo Fish. Giga. Gaga. Gigo. Very nice. Neobug. Hyper. Hammerhead. Spirit of the Pot of Greed. Destruction Ring. And our second foil. Yes, it's a super Orca Mega Fortress of Darkness. So far, two super rare. So we're really looking for some ultras or secrets, but hey, foils are foils. The normal ratio for a box, like if it was sealed, would probably be like around two ultras, four supers. A lot of times it can be different, but sometimes you get a secret rare, sometimes you don't. So we're going to say six to seven foils for an average. And uh, right now we're at two supers, no ultras, no secrets. So, you know, maybe it'll happen. The thing in the crater. Let's see if we can turn it around. Spatial Collapse, the collapse of space. We have Balloon Lazard. Chop Man, the Desperate Outlaw. Hiya! Watch out. We have Don Turtle and Destruction Ring. We've gotten that like four times already. That's kind of weird. And in the last pack, we have Mind You of the 10,000 Hands, our old friend that is now not worth anything because he got five reprints in a row. Okay. I don't know how many packs we're in, but it's, it's a decent chunk. Probably at least a third. You guys know I'm bad at like <laughs> trying to decide how many packs are left. Three from the back. We have a Grimaju de Isa, Gale Lazard, Terra King Salmon. We have Curse of the Forbidden Spell, Balloon Lazard, Molten Zombie from Fear the Walking Dead. We have Spirit of the Pot of Greed, Stray Lambs, and will we get another foil? No, it's Amphibious Bugroth, MK3. The bugs have returned. All right, Invasion of Chaos. So far, you've given us two super rares. We want the winner of this giveaway to get more than just two supers. And speaking of giveaways, I've been putting this on every video, but I want to say it verbally. Do not respond to those comment uh, scammers in the YouTube comments. I announce my YouTube winners only on the YouTube community tab. Keep that in mind. YouTube community tab is popping up right here. That's where the winners are announced. That's where I tell you to contact me via email. That's it. No YouTube comments. We have Bogamian. I just want to remind you guys. Ojama Yellow, Witch Doctor. We have Chaos Sork. Compulsory evacuation device and a self-destruct button with some weird stuff going on at the top. You guys see those like speckles? Kind of looks like an ultimate rare for a second on the edge. Very strange. Now's the time to turn it around, guys. Right now in Legacy Week, we will begin with a Chaos Emperor Dragon. Let's go, Fenrir. Cannonball. Thing of the Creator. We have Spatial Collapse. Collapse of Space. We have Zero Gravity. Sea Serpent. Warrior of Darkness. A warrior who defends the world of the Sea of Darkness. He prides himself on his fighting prowess, but both on the ground and, of course, in the water. But both. <laughs> Curse of Darkness. And did we get something? It feels like we got a super rare. All right. Wild Nature's release. Okay. Three super rares. No, nothing else. But hey, now's the time to turn it around. All right. Are we halfway through? If we're halfway through, then we're only behind by one ultra rare to be on pace, which would be like, you know, because if we had one ultra, three supers, we'd be on pace for two ultras, six super. Wait. No, that's not right. I guess we're on pace for the number of foils, so that makes sense. There's six total. We have three so far. Maybe that means there'll be a lot of ultras in the back half here. We have Burning Algae. We have our friend Destruction Ring again and a Grinvaju de Isa. 
And also, I will be linking the uh, previous Legacy Week in 2020 uh, somewhere in this, probably at the end of the video. There will be those five videos that we did back in 2020. So if you want to revisit nostalgic Ruxin content, go check that out because uh, that's going to be a lot different because I had, you know, no mic, different face cam. Looked a lot worse, but hey, same guy, same. Well, probably not the same energy, actually. I was probably a little calmer back then. Stray Lambs and uh, an Invader of Darkness. It's always this guy. We have full of secret rare. We can't complain, but it's the wrong one as usual so yeah if you are wanting to visit you know revisit some of that 2017 magic that we opened back in 2020 you know all those previous reprints that we had go check that out because that would be fun i might actually go back and watch those myself just see what i pulled i remember it being really really good terry king salmon we have balloon lizard gigantis we have chop man the desperate outlaw dawn turtle robin zombie and a tower of Babel. okay so far, four foils has been pretty average, you know, based on normal ratios. That's kind of what it, you know, has felt like. We haven't gotten any ultra rares, which sucks because those are usually the best cards. But, you know, four foils, we usually get six or seven. Thinking the creator, we have DD Borderline. We have Ryu Koki. We have Chaos Orc. Zero gravity. There is no gravity. Robin Zombie. Why would a zombie be robbing anybody? That's what I'm wondering. And. Driven's Feather Duster. So more Feather Dusting going on. One, two, three. Legacy Week. So far, it started at pretty average. Let's see if we can make it pretty amazing. Terra King Salmon. Chaos Necromancer. Ojama Yellow. Curse of Forbidden Spell. Earth Chant. Zero Gravity. Sasuke Samurai. Number three. And a Des Kangaroo. We are down to the last seven packs, so a little bit less than a third of the box. We've pulled basically two thirds, so we're kind of on pace right now for a normal opening. We don't want no normal opening, though. We want an insane opening. Sacred Crane, let's go. Gail Lazard, we want to pull something good for you guys. The winner of the giveaway. Curse Seal, Stealth Bird. We have Inferno. Inferno Tower. Oh, it's a little Clash of Clans. Coach Goblin, we have Mad Dog of Darkness and Chaos In. Okay, Chaos End. Maybe that means that the Envoy of the End, the Chaos Monster, will appear. One, two, three. Come on. Envoy of the Beginning would also be good. I take that. Phoebus Bugroth. We have Crimson Ninja. Stumbling. Boganian. Fiend's Hand Mirror. Witch Doctor of Chaos. Inferno. Berserk Gorilla. Crazy card, actually, in some multiple formats. And a Gora Turtle of Illusion. Okay, all right. A little bit of a dry spell right now, but... Five more, four more, five more, five more packs to turn it around. All right, guys, five more packs. The first episode of Legacy Week. If you're excited, make sure to let me know in the comments. If you're excited to hear about the secret opening or some other cool things, then uh, let me know. DNA transplant. There will be another announcement video once I can reveal that. Stealth Bird, we have Spirit of the Pot of Greed. Pin Chopper. Enraged Battle Ox. He is raging. And uh, Black Tyranno. We have an ultra rare. That gives us three supers, one ultra, one secret. That is getting pretty close to normal ratio. We need one more ultra rare to feel really good about this. Four packs to go. Black Tyranno is a cool card. It's never been very good because all it does is like attack directly, right? If they're in defense, something weird like that. It's not very, it's not very good. It looks cool though. We have Sacred Queen. We have Recycle. Crimson Ninja. Didi Borderline. Ryu Koki, very crazy card in some zombie decks. Witch Doctor of Chaos. We have Chaos Sorcerer. Compulsory Evacuation Device. And finally, we have Amanju. Our friend has made another appearance. I think we have pulled three of those. So that's a play set if we want to play our Relinquish deck and go. Three packs to go. Five foils pulled. It's been, it's been okay. It doesn't feel like a Legacy Week winner, though. It feels like somebody will beat this. We have Big Koala. Salvage. We have Blazing and Bocce. He's got, uh, you know, zero defense there. But 1850 attack was pretty good back then. Gigantis. Giga, Gaga, Gigo. A one tribute. Hyper Hammerhead. Thunder Crash. Robin Zombie. I don't know who he's robbing or why, but he is. And uh, mind you again, he makes another appearance. Two packs left. Two more chances at the big three. The Invasion of Chaos opening. Will we pull Chaos Emperor Dragon? Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning, or Demok, Dark Magician of Chaos. Come on, DNA Transplant, Energy Drain. Come on, Boganian. Let's end this with a bang. Curse Seal of Forbidden Spell. We have Spirit of the Pot of Greed. Very scary. We got Pot of Greed and then the creepy little spirit version. Molten Zombie. A lot of zombies in this set. I've never really thought about that. We have Fuma Shuriken. And finally, we have Chaos End. Okay. No, nothing nothing to get really excited about there. It's the end of the pack and Chaos End, so it makes sense. Our final pack of Invasion of Chaos in the first episode of Legacy Week. If you're looking forward to it, make sure to let me know. And don't forget to go check out Legacy Week from 2020 if you guys want to revisit some old school stuff. One, two, three. 
last pack if you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content because i just told you about all the epic content coming up i mean what more do i need to say at this point gora we have crimson ninja torpedo fish stealth bird the bird is stealthy blasting the ruins chop man the desperate outlaw hiya don turtle Getsufuma. And our final chance to have a normal box ratio. Here we go. Begone, Knave. And it is begoning our ultra rare. So we are starting it off with a less than average box, which means it's only up from here. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Mycycle, America Deutster, Supreme Sage 21, and then a tie show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McClain. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.